Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to draw our six point template template to block our or starch our snowflakes on and then we're going to start snowflakes one two three four and five okay so to get started i have a oh how long is this i'd say probably about a foot a foot long piece of my parchment paper pulled out oh okay so i was way off it's more like almost three feet <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, and the reason I want that big of a piece is because I'm going to put five of the six point stars on it so I can block them all on one piece of parchment paper. But to start, I'm going to get you guys just a little closer. Okay, so what we are going to do to get started on our six point star is we're going to take our protractor. I'm going to try to go to the edge. So I'm going to do like one and then look below that another one, you know, space them out evenly. But I'm going to take my protractor here and I'm going to hold it to where this is straight. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect just as long as it's not like that. You know, hold it straight like this and we're going to start at the top and come down to the bottom. Okay. And now if you look on your protractor, there's a little hole right here by the three. I'm going to back this up a little bit. And I'm going to make a little cross right where that three is. And now on our protractor, see this black line that goes up the straight edge of it? We're going to line that up with the line we just drew. And then the crosshair right here that we just drew is going to go right into that, right on, right under the hole. Why are you not focusing? Okay, there it goes. So I'm going to line up the crosshair right onto this hole, right under this hole, and then see how my line's not straight right there? I'm gonna get it right on that line and then come to the top and make sure that's right on that line. And it's looking good. So I'm gonna hold this still, and then I'm gonna come over to the curve right here, and we're gonna make a mark right at that 60. And then I'm gonna come in and go, I'm just gonna make like make a little crosshair, right like that. And then I'm going to come to the 120 line, make a little line, and then make a little crosshair. And I'm going to pull it out. So there's the, the 120 and the 60. So now what I'm going to do is just make draw a straight line from this crosshair to this crosshair straight across. I almost want you guys to be a little bit closer to see this. Okay, so I'm gonna line up right with that crosshair right here, and then make sure I I'm on this crosshair. And I'm gonna hold it and draw a line straight across, just like that. I'm gonna do the same one on this side. So I'm gonna line up to where I'm gonna catch this crosshair and this crosshair and make a nice straight line. And there we go. There's our template. So now I'm just gonna make four more of them. So there's one, I'm gonna come underneath here. Make a straight line. Pull it out, mark that three inch line. Now line up the cross that you just made in the hole and then make sure your line is straight with the black line on the protractor. I'm gonna hold it there, come to 60. Come to 120. Come out and now I'm gonna go from straight across this one to straight across to catch right on top of there. There we go. Oh, I moved. And there. 
Now these don't have to be absolutely perfect. If it's a little off, it's not gonna, not gonna hurt anything. You're just gonna have to be careful because whenever you put your snowflake on there, it, it won't be exactly the way it needs to be. Can you see how the six points line up? So if, if your um, diagram is, you know, off just a little bit, your snowflake is going gonna, is gonna to be off just a little bit, if that makes sense. But it's not that big of a deal. I just, I just wanted to have a nice pretty snowflake. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do three more of these. And when I come back, then we're going to attach to our, t our par parchment paper to our uh, blocking squares. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have my diagrams drew, uh, drew out, so I'm going to put this to the side. Now I'm going to get my blocking mats, and I'm going to lay my blocking mats out. Now I got these from Walmart. Um, everything that I'm going to be using is going to be in the, just a link to it will be at, in the description box, but also um, check out the introduction to the snowflakes video because I, you know, that I go through every single thing we're going to need, okay? So I'm going to get, make some room. Okay, I'm going to get all of these put together. And the reason I'm doing mine upside down is because the, uh, the diagram will come off the parchment paper and it's, it, um, gets on your blocking mats and I don't want that to be on the front. I'd rather have it on the back of my mats. Okay, so I got my four mats put together. I'm going to take my parchment paper and make sure I can get all four, four of them on here. Now when I'm putting them on here, I'm trying to keep the, the seam of the blocking mats between the the diagrams like I don't want to have one of my diagrams right in the middle of the seam so I'm just pulling it down a little bit all right now I'm gonna pin my parchment paper in place oops I forgot we need to put the parchment paper upside down it was upside down. Well, how did I just smear that? I guess I did it on the other side. That was weird. All right, pin it back down. I'm just doing all four corners. And then I'm going I'm to turn off that excess real quick. Now what I'm going to do, is I just have a little cup here, you can use any kind of cup, nothing special. And then I got my measuring spoons, and I don't have the ones I'm actually, I used to cook with. These are just some junk ones I got laying around. But I've got my teaspoon measuring spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get three teaspoons of Mod Podge. And then I'm going to get three, or I mean two teaspoons of water. And I'm going to mix it in this cup. So... Now, I've got little stir sticks, but you guys can stir this with whatever you want to. And you just, you can use a, a spoon or something, and then you can just rinse it off later. Um, before the Mod Podge dries. <laughs> okay, so, I'm doing this method. If you choose to do the liquid starch, all you have to do is just pour some in your cup, and then we're going to soak our snowflakes for about 15 minutes. So, I'm going to get my... There. My three teaspoons of Mod Podge. A little extra isn't going to hurt anything. One. Two. 
to and three. That little heater just kicked on. All right, now I'm going to go get my two teaspoons of water. I will be right back. I'm going to do that off camera. One teaspoon. And two teaspoons. All right. Now we stir. Trying to get some of that off the side. Let's get that all nice and mixed up. Should kind of look like milk. All right. So now all we do is take our snowflakes. Dunk them in. And I'm just going to do all mine at the same time. Oh, <laughs> all right, one more. Okay, I'm going to let that set for 15 minutes. While that's setting, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up what I can. All right. I will be right back. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take out my snowflakes. I'm going to squish out the excess I'm gonna pull them apart all right that's not number one so I set that one to the side squish Okay, I don't think this is number one either. So I'm gonna set that one to the side. All right, I know that's not number one. Set that one. Oh, this one might be it. Yep, this is number one. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one here and I got one more. All right, I'm gonna set this one to the side. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you can see, I marked that this is the first snowflake. 
or snowflake number one. So I'm gonna get my needles. Set them there. Now the first thing, I wanna find the front. So I can tell that is the front. So I'm gonna grab a needle and I'm gonna go right into the middle of the snowflake and I'm gonna pin it right to the middle of our diagram. Right like that. And then I'm gonna start lining up my points or petals with what we got here, okay? So I'm gonna grab another needle. I'm just gonna grab and pull because I want it to be nice and pointy. And then what we'll do is we'll adjust after we get them pinned. Right there. Right there. Right there, and one more. Right there. Ooh, look how pretty it is. All right, now all I'm gonna do is just kinda go in here and work some pieces around. Just make sure everything looks nice and pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin my, um, my loop here. I'm just gonna put a pin at the top just to kind of keep it straight. All right, let me, I almost wanna pull this one out a little farther. Okay, so there is snowflake number one. Okay, so this, Is number two. Now number two was this one. So again, I'm going to find the front, which I believe is this way. All right, I'm going to get my needles, go right into the middle first, and then I'm going to come right straight to the middle of my diagram and there so now what I'm gonna do is just start pinning making sure everything is laying out nice and neat I'm gonna get me some paper towels I've got this all over and I'm kind of getting it all over my pin but that's all right I've got a bunch more okay Okay, so I'm going to start with going into the top point and I'm going to pull it down the leg of my diagram. Another one. Line it up. Come in here. Line that one up. And that one up. Oop. That one and one more. Get in there. All right. So now you guys can kind of see why I said what I, why I said what I said about the, um, the long needles. It's really helpful. There. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take more needles and then these little little chain spaces, I'm just going to pull them out a little bit like that. You know what? Let me zoom you in. There, that's better for you guys. So I'm just going to take my needle and go right in there and pull out that chain space. But I want it to be more of this shape. There. That looks good. All right. Now the next one. And not every one of these are going to be exactly the same. But I'm going to try my best. I think that looks good. I'm going to have to rotate some stuff here. There. Right there. Ooh, it's looking pretty. There. And there. Is that right? Rotate, rotate, rotate. There. Ow! That got me. And... There. Uh, I don't like that one. It's all right. Okay. One more post. Now I realize this is obviously going to take a while doing all of these snowflakes, but pinning them is completely different than when we make them. Pinning them is what makes the shapes pop. All right. So there's number two. All right. Let's go to number three. Okay. So here is the second one. Or I'm sorry, the third one. And our third snowflake is the one that is kind of very stringy. Its posts are really stringy. All right. So I'm going to start with. Finding the front, which I believe is this side. All right, I'm going to get me my needle. Go right through the center first. And I'm going to line that up with the center of my diagram. I'm going to try to untangle these the best I can. Okay, there's my paper towel. All right, now this one is going to be a little more intricate. So what I'm going to do is take my first one and I'm going to separate all, out all these strands and we're going to go straight to the top first. Do that for all of our posts. There we go. Stretch it out. Not too far. I mean, obviously, I'm going a little farther than what it... It, uh... 
started off to begin with, but I don't want to stretch it much farther than where I'm going. You guys, you'll feel it whenever you do yours. All right. And this last one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do my loop. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit, I'm going to call it a diamond at the top of our um, post or petal. So I'm just going to come out just like that. And then I'm going to go straight across just like that. So see that diamond at the top? That's what we're going to do all around the top of these. Okay. So to keep this video from being like two hours long, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll be right back after I get those diamonds done. Okay. So now I've gotten all the uh, diamonds done at the top. So now we're going to come down and all we're going to do is this, these little nubs right here and right here. Just going to put your pin on the inside of the loop here. Don't go through it. And we're going to pull it out a little. Just like that. I think I may, may need to run my pin through it. There we go. Just like that. Right here. Easy peasy, but is it pretty? And you can go as far as you want. You can go um, not that far open. Now this is one of the bigger snowflakes out of the 25 that we're doing. But when I designed this, I googled pictures of snowflakes and one of the first ones that came up was a uh, a really pointed, spiky looking snowflake and I, and I thought, yes, I like that one. So I had to do one like this. Oops. And the last one. And the cool thing about this is, is not everybody's are going to be the same. You know, you guys are maybe smaller or maybe bigger, but they're snowflakes. No snowflakes are the same, right? <laughs> okay, so that's number three. So I am going to move on to number four. Okay, now let's start number four. Now I got my blocking mats turned upside down, but I had to do that so I could get it on camera. But here's number four, and this is the... Really thicker one with the little nubs on the ends. Okay, so again, we're going to start with our needle in the center. So go right through that center hole. Go right into the center of your diagram. And there we go. Now we just line up with the with the posts. Now you guys see how how important it was to do the diagram just to make that pretty snowflake. Needle won't get off me. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my point. I'm gonna pull it up just a little. We don't need to pull it too tight because this is more of a fluffy snowflake as opposed to, you know, our spiky ones. So I'm just going to each top. I'm trying to go through the center, but sometimes, there it is. It's a little hard to see right there. Right there. Right there. And one. And the last one. All right, let me see. 
I think it looks good. So now we are going to work on pinning the little nubs. Oh, well, I better get this first. Looks like I accidentally got some permanent marker on it. Darn it. Probably from my fingers. It's <laughs> all right. Nobody will see it. I'll cover it in glitter. Get this. There we go. Get that opened up. Eek. Not that tight. It keeps wanting to twist. There. Okay, so now we're going to work on our little nubs. I just want them to stay straight and not be kind of flopped over. I'm going to go ahead and pin down the little ones down here, bring them to a point, which I realize my hand's in the way, but I'm just going to bring that little one out. There. So, I mean, you guys can see what I'm doing. I am going to go ahead and pause this and go through all of these. I'm not stretching them too much. All I'm kind of doing is making them lay flat and giving them just a little more definition. Okay. So, I'm going to finish this one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that all pinned. I took a bunch of little pins in, in one little space. So that is number four. Now, we are going to move on. I don't know if I can get this on camera right. I don't think I can, so I'm gonna have to do it upside. The uh, diagram is gonna be upside down. Well, not the diagram. Number five will be. <laughs> all right, so our last snowflake. And it's a smaller one, but it's adorable. I'm going to start off just the same. Clean my hand off. A needle straight through the center. And then straight through the center of our diagram. Just like that. Okay. Get some needles. Okay, now we are going to start with a point. Actually, you know what? See how much room that has? I am actually going to run a pin through it so it's not going to move, okay? And the reason I'm doing that is just to secure that I'm going to get a straight six, okay? So now I can get in there and pin my edges right like that my hands are so sticky get my loop out of the way there 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 And this one. Now I'm going to look. I think this one needs to come out more. And this one. Good. All right. Now I'm going to take more pins. And I'm just going to get these little nubs in the center. Or on the side. And I'm going to have to go through them because I can't find the little chain space just like that it's so cute 
I worked really hard on these and the, the fact that, you know, it's working out in the end makes me so happy. And it makes me happy to make pretty things for you guys, you know? Get that out. This last one. Is that it? Yeah. I don't like this one. There. That's better. Okay, now I'm going to pin my um, loop. Okay. Let me bring you guys out. There are number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Let's see if I can get them all on camera here. There. <laughs> well, kind of. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go put this in front of my fan for a few hours. And then when we come back, we're going to do our second coat. So I will be right back.